तो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो टिल नाउ वी हैड सॉल्व ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू द ब्लॉक डायग्राम रिडक्शन टेक्निक्स वी हैव सॉल्व मेनी मेनी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम्स एंड सिंपल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी वेल सो नाउ वी हैव वन मोर काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम विच वुड बी अपेयरिंग इन द एग्जाम्स ओके दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज दे वुड बी गिविंग यू एन इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट और नेटवर्क लाइक दिस using this circuit first what we need to do is we need to calculate the uh, loop equations or nodal equations so this is uh, the loop circuit so in this case we need to be calculating the loop equations after that for those loop equations we need to be uh, writing the uh, equivalent block diagrams and you uh, combining all those three equations we need to be obtaining the final block diagram that is we need to obtain the block diagram for this electric network which would be having vi as input and v uh, v not as output okay our final uh, aim is we need to be having vi and v out in the input and output side uh, and uh, th through that we would be having one block okay so now how we need to solve these kind of problems so simple thing uh, as you have studied in the network analysis as well first thing we have these two loops here that is we need to be writing the kvl equations so here in this outer loop we can see that Uh, v out is equal to if you go in this direction the, the current is for r4 resistor is i2 so v out you would be getting it as i2 r4 that you write it first and keep it okay so this part is done so now when for these two loops write the equations that is at loop 1 the equation we are getting is v i so go in this direction minus i1 r1 the outgoing sign uh, we need to be considering plus minus so minus i1 r1 minus r2 so there are two currents in this r2 that is i1 minus i2 equal to 0 right so this is one equation name it as equation 1 so similar thing for loop 2 as well at loop 2 start from this r2 resistor minus r2 i2 minus i1 minus uh, i2 r3 minus r4 i2 minus i2 r4 equal to zero so this is the second equation so now equation 1 would become so solve for equation 1 separately now vi minus i1 r1 minus i1 r2 plus i2 r2 equal to zero okay so now using this equation try to find i1 okay using this equation try to find i1 using this equation that is what we need to do is first vi minus uh, i1 is common here take that outside minus i1 into r1 plus r2 plus i2 r2 equal to zero so now bring this uh, term uh, to one side that is vi plus i2 r2 equal to this minus would be plus now so i1 into r1 plus r2 so our final i1 would be equal to vi plus i2 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 right also we can write it like this i1 is equal to vi into 1 by r1 plus r2 plus i2 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 where these uh, resistor part you can uh, take it common like in the bracket you, you can take it i tell you why because during uh, the writing of the block diagram these resistors are there right those play a role of the blocks in the block diagram we have discussed g1 g2 and all right those are the feedback blocks okay so this resistor block uh, resistor resistor terms and all uh, try to keep them in bracket okay yeah so using this equation 1 we have solved for i1 so same thing using equation 2 solve for i2 now so equation 2 is would become minus r2 i2 plus r2 i1 minus r3 i2 
minus r4 i2 equal to 0 uh, here i2 are, are common for these three terms so that is minus i2 is common for these three terms that is uh, r2 plus r3 plus r4 plus i1 r2 equal to 0 right so bring this i1 r2 to one side and this i2 term to other side that is i1 r2 equal to this minus will be plus now r2 plus r3 plus r4 so therefore our final i2 would be equal to i1 into all the uh, r uh, register terms together that is r2 divided by r2 plus r3 plus r4 so this is the equation for i2 so now we have three equations one is v out equal to i2 r4 for i1 we have one equation for i2 we have one equation so now let's see how to write the block diagram for these three equations okay so we have these three equations here i1 i2 and v naught so now let's try to write the block diagrams for this equation so now consider this equation now first we have solved for i1 right so here what we can see that these two terms right v1 uh, into 1 uh, one plus r1 plus r2 1 divided by r1 plus r2 plus i2 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 those two are getting added up right so here uh, since those two are getting added up we need a summing point here okay summing point is necessary and uh, as I have, I have told you right these two are the feedback blocks I have told you whatever are there in the uh, whatever the register we have written separately those two are the feedback blocks that is so those two write it together first that is make a block and write 1 by r1 plus r2 join it here and again from here write this block that is r2 divided by r1 plus r2 and after that write the input as v1 here okay since these two are getting multiplied right v1 into this so write it like this since uh, uh, then these two would be in series so these two would be get multiplied same goes with here write i2 here and these two would be multiplied here and after that these two would be multiplied together these two would be multiplied together and these and this whole these two terms would be getting summed up and uh, uh, would be getting summed up and the result after summing what we would be getting is i1 right here yeah. so in this way you need to write the block diagram so this is for uh, equation i1 so this is the block diagram so similarly goes for i2 that is we have i1 r2 i1 into r2 divided by r2 r2 r3 r4 that is write i1 first into the feedback block resistor block r2 divided uh, divided by r2 plus r3 plus r4 okay these two are getting uh, multiplied and the resultant what we are getting here is i2 right yeah so this is for second equation so similarly goes for third equation v out is equal to i2 into r4 so first write i2 and r4 you write it in a block and the resultant here is v out okay so this is for third equation so these three are the blocks so now we need to join these three blocks so this sorry this is vi okay vi in the question they have given vi that's why so now we need to join these three blocks and uh, write the final block diagram consisting of vi as input and v out as output so you know that since uh, vi is the input we need to start with the this block itself vi block okay and vi and i1 so this i1 is going out here and gets connected here and again this i2 is going out here and gets connected here so the final block what we will be getting is vi into 1 by r1 plus r2 this here will be having a summing point and from that summing point we will be having this block r2 divided by r1 plus r2 and this i1 and i1 gets connected so this block comes right now here r2 divided by r2 
plus r 3 plus r 4 and the final the the output here is i2 and this i2 is connected here so we would be getting here i r4 so if you want you can mention here this is i2 and uh, this is i1 here and now this i2 is getting connected here and this is your final v out so this is your block diagram that we have reduced using these three blocks using the uh, equations which we have solved loop equations we have uh, created the blo block diagrams for all of them and we have merged them and we have created a block diagram of this equivalent circuit okay so yeah please refer this video once again try to analyze it and uh, i have only one problem for you guys related to this concept you can solve for many more problems uh, using the textbook so that's all like share subscribe thank you